Okay, today's lesson, which happens to be the last lesson in chapter four, is from section 4.8. It's titled Solving Problems with Trigonometry. Um, so you're gonna really just be confronted with a lot of uh, a variety of uh, application and story problems, kind of real world application type problems. Uh, problems that can be solved with the use of trigonometry. Okay, first one. It says a guy wire connects the top of an antenna to a point on level ground five feet from the base of an antenna. The angle of elevation formed by this wire is 80 degrees. What are the length of the wire and the height of the antenna? Well, okay, so notice the, the tower, the wire, and the ground make a right triangle. Convenient, huh? Um, it says that we're on level ground here, so we know that we've got a, a nice right angle inside there. Um, we're after both the height of the tower and uh, the length of the wire. Just call that W. Okay, we're going to use this 80 degree angle. Uh, the 5 feet is the adjacent side. So I'm looking for both the opposite and the hypotenuse. So we'll have to do uh, two problems to solve this one. So let's first maybe find H. It really doesn't matter which one you do first. Well, let's just start there. Um, so I'm looking for opposite. I have adjacent. The trig function that uses opposite and adjacent is tangent. Tangent of 80 degrees equals opposite H over adjacent 5. We can solve this equation by multiplying both sides by 5. So H is equal to 5 times the tangent of 80. Uh, make sure your calculator is in degree mode. So we get 28 point, I'll just say 3, 6 feet. Okay, now let's find the W. Um, well, we have some choices for the W. Um, I'm going to shy away from using this that I just found. Um, you know, if I use this with this, I could do Pythagorean's theorem and find W. Um, I could use opposite and hypotenuse, and I could use sine because I have this now. I'm going to shy away from using this, though, just because this answer has been rounded, um, so it's not exact anymore. So if we just kind of take that out, and I'm forced to use this with hypotenuse. I would use adjacent and hypotenuse, I would use cosine. So cosine of 80 degrees equals adjacent, which is 5 divided by hypotenuse, which is W. And now we'll solve this equation. It's a two-step equation. Multiply the W out of the denominator first. So we get W times the cosine of 80 degrees equals 5. We divide both sides by the cosine of 80 degrees. And now we're ready for calculator work. W is equal to, I get 28.79. And that's in feet. Okay, the Paz Verde, a whale watch boat, is located at point P, and L is the nearest point on the Baja California shore. Um, if that's the nearest point, that means it makes a right angle there. Uh, point Q is located 4.25 miles down the shoreline from L, and PL is perpendicular to LQ. Uh, determine the distance that the Paz Verde is from the shore if PQL is 35 degrees. So determine this distance the boat is to the shore, assuming it means the closest distance, not this one here. Um, so let's see, from this 35 degree angle, um, we are looking for opposite, 
we have adjacent. Um, the hypotenuse here, we're not trying to find it and we don't have it, so we're not going to use it at all. Opposite and adjacent is tangent. Tangent of our angle 35 degrees equals opposite x over adjacent 4.25. Uh, to solve this, we multiply both sides by 4.25. and it's calculator work from here. I get x to be 2.98 miles. Don't forget the units. Okay, the angle of elevation from an observer to the bottom edge of the Delaware, Delaware River Drawbridge observation deck located 200 feet from the observer is 30 degrees. The angle of elevation from the observer to the top of the deck is 40 degrees. What is the height of the observation deck? Okay, so we are looking for the height of the deck, which is right here. Okay, the height of the deck is the length from, or the distance from the bottom of the deck to the top of the deck. That's what we want. Okay, um, that side lives in a triangle that is not a right triangle, and therefore right now we cannot solve it with that triangle. Um, but what we can do is um, utilize the two right triangles that are in there. Okay, there is one right here. So let's look at that one. And there is another one right here. Yikes. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to find this height and this one here which would be the length to the bottom of the deck and the top of the deck respectively if we find the difference between those two we should be able to find the the deck height that we want so let's find x first um, So to find x, it is uh, x is opposite, 200 is adjacent. So we're going to use tan of 30 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Multiply the 200 across out of the denominator. So we get x equals 200 times the tan of 30. We get 115.5 feet. Okay, so now we want to find the y. Similar setup, it'll be tan of 40 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. Let's multiply the 200 out of the denominator. So we get y equals, we get 167.8. Okay, well now the height h that we want is the y, the longer one, minus the x. It is 167.8 minus 115.5. Our height is 52.3 feet. Okay, from the top of a 100-foot building, a man observes a car moving toward him. If the angle of depression of the car changes from 15 degrees to 33 degrees during the period of observation, how far does the car travel? So we are trying to find the distance here. That the car has traveled. Call it D. Okay, so again, we're going to use a couple of right triangles to do it. Um, here's the building. 
to the blue car on up. Um, here's the building all the way out to the car in, in red and on out. Building's 100 feet. Uh, the angles of depression. Um, let's see, this angle is 33 degrees. So this one is the, the difference between 90 and 33 degrees. This angle would be 57. This angle of depression here was 15 degrees. So this one would be the difference between 90 and 15, which is 75 degrees. Okay, so what we would like to do is find this distance, this distance, and just like in the tower problem from before, we're going to find these two distances and then find their difference, and that will give us the distance that the car has traveled. Um, so let's do that up here. Um, from this angle, we are opposite over adjacent, so it's again tangent. Tangent of 57 equals opposite over adjacent. So I need to do 100 times the tangent of 57. I get 153 point, let's go 99 feet. I'm also going to do the tan of 75 equals y over 100. So I'm going to multiply the 100 across. 100 tan of 75 is 373.21 feet. Okay, so the distance that we want d is that 373.21 minus 153.99 I get 219.22 feet.